when I think about some of the guys who we've heard, you know, allegedly haven't taken these vaccines, these aren't stupid people. These aren't like, oh, raging lunatics. These aren't anti-vaxxers. There are a lot of people who have real reasons or real perceived reasons for them to not go take this vaccination. One of the big topics, not only last season, but this season as well, COVID. Mm. Last time out, we, we talked about it being the, the other opponent, didn't we, last season? And it had a big impact, and it will do again. But I suppose the difference this time round, fellas, is vaccination. We know, don't we, that the overall vaccination rate is north of 90%. But at some point this season, there will be an unvaccinated player, and some of them are big names, who are unavailable because they've contracted the virus, and that will have an impact on them and their team and the whole... Franchise, right? their whole organization. And that, OC, is going to be a huge area of debate. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's a tricky one, Dan. It, it's a lot to unpack there. Um, you got to think about things from several different perspectives. I mean, if you're looking at it from a team perspective, you're like, okay, I mean, all the information is out there for you. Of course you should get vaccinated. Like, you know, there's the danger to you getting vaccinated as junior school. Like, you'd be a fool to not do that, right? But then you also look at it from the player's perspective and the people who have chosen not to do this. Like, when I think about some of the guys who we've heard, you know, allegedly haven't taken these vaccinations, these aren't stupid people. These aren't like, oh, raging lunatics. These aren't anti-vaxxers. There are a lot of people who have real reasons or real perceived reasons for them to not go take this vaccination. Some people are doing it on religious grounds. So what, what do you tell them? Hey, uh, as a person, oh, I believe in God, and God says, listen, we shouldn't be putting vaccinations into our body. And if somebody tells me that as, as a teammate, how am I supposed to get angry at him? How am I supposed to, um, you know, belittle him or say, tell him he should do something that goes against every little, every single moral fiber in his body? You can't do that, right? So if, if, if in fact, he does... Um, you know, miss some games, you can be upset, you can get angry, but you also have to respect this person's personal decision to do that. And there'll be other people, Jace, watching this and thinking, it's all about the team. You, you, you two always talk about that importance of, of the locker room and the tightness and the communication and the way that you go about your business in there. And this could really affect that. This is the conversation that's going to be had in many locker rooms because OC knows every year we try to come together as a family for that year, right? We try to get on the same page and we sacrifice a lot for that. So now you have this issue where it's a competitive advantage to be to have the vaccination throughout your whole team, right? Everybody be vaccinated. So now if you have a player that's not and that causes you to lose a game or he misses for whatever reason and he's a significant player like a quarterback, you do start to question how much they're willing to sacrifice for the team. Now, I know for me, personally, on the roster, I was the kind of guy that had to be available no matter what. So I didn't have that kind of leverage. But some of these star players, they do. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out, but it's definitely going to come to fruition this year where that is going to hurt a team. It's, there are going to be some challenges, aren't there? And fans are going to get angry. And, you know, for whatever reason, right or wrong, money's going to get thrown in there. You earn this much, you should be playing whatever the costs. Again, we, 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 can 100, we can sit here and we can say that. And you, these are all valid points. I mean, who wants to cost somebody else that amount of money, right? I mean, oh, you went out there, you didn't play a game, um, you, or you got suspended for a couple of, for a week or so because you didn't take the vaccination. Now, you know, people like, you know, all the other guys on the football team, they're not getting paid because you didn't play. But then again, these decisions are just so personal. Like... For me, I just cannot bring myself to condemn somebody mm -hmm. for making a decision. I got to be completely honest with you. I'm not sure if I would have taken that vaccination. Like, I'm fully vaccinated right now. But for me, the only reason why I did get this vaccination is because I did not want to harm other people. I didn't want to put other people's lives in jeopardy. But now they're going around saying, hey, even if you are vaccinated, you can still pass on this virus. Mm -hmm. So now if I would have known that information, would I have got vaccinated? I don't, I don't really know. I can't answer that question, right? Mm -hmm. So that being said, and understanding these things fully... It just makes it that much more difficult for me to condemn other people who have chosen not to take this vaccination. Yeah, the, the rate of COVID is seven times higher in unvaccinated players than it is in vaccinated players. And just listening to you two now, this is going to be a topic of debate on every show like this where the NFL comes up because it is the divisive issue of this season, isn't it? As soon as something happens on a team COVID-related, they're going to look at the vaccination rate, see who it was, see who it impacted, and that is going to be what happens in the locker room and when guys start to have 
interesting conversations. And that's one issue on the field. You look a bit wider than that and, and the way that the, the different teams have got different measures in place for the fans, because fans being back is going to be huge this season as well. There's a massive variation. Five teams say uh, over 12s have to wear a mask everywhere if unvaccinated. 27 teams require masks indoors or not at all. The Raiders are the only team who require proof of vaccination. Three teams require a negative COVID test or proof of vaccination. So depending on you know where you're watching your football, it's different right across the country. And this is the crazy thing, and this is what we all have to deal with, even here. Like, everywhere has a different rule for something, you know, that, that is, is affecting everybody. So how do you respond? How do you relate? How do you do this? How do you know what's right? How do you know what's wrong? Nobody really knows anything. We're literally just making up things as we go along, and this is the problem that's facing everybody. Yeah, in the U.S., oh, so you're right. It's a state-by-state -state thing how it's regulated. So those teams can operate how, they, how the state allows them to, and that's going to be a competitive advantage for some and not for others. Can I I ask you, are you concerned? I know we've just started. Are you concerned that this is going to be that thing that overtakes you know, the football this season and this is the thing that gets discussed right at every single level of the game and, and beyond that as well? I do, because I think some great players are going to miss action and if they were on the field, it could have been a different outcome. So we're going to have these discussions and it's going to happen. Yeah, I'm, I'm concerned for sure. And the reason, the, the thing that really concerns me the most is because we still don't really know what's accurate and what's not accurate, right? So this whole COVID thing, another variant could show up and upend the entire season, right? So it, 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 there's just so much in flux right now that I believe that is going to pop up his head again and something terrible might happen. OK, fellas, always appreciate your honesty. Thank you very much. I'm sure we will talk about this again at some stage over the course of this season.